In those early years, my office was located at the rear of the chapel. And every time I would walk into that dark chapel, I would pray that someday God may fill this chapel with men studying for the ministry. And over the years, God answered that prayer wonderfully. I have many moments when I think about that prayer that I prayed many times over those years. The Master Seminary began because of a demand on the part of uh, young men at Grace Community Church who wanted theological training. At that time, the only seminary that was an option was Talbot Seminary, from which I graduated. For a while, we literally had vans going daily, taking our students down to Talbot Seminary. Eventually, we had so many students, uh, we had almost 100 students coming from our church. Uh, Talbot decided to let us have an extension at Grace Community Church, and they would send the faculty to us rather than us taking all the students down to them. We'd been a part of the Talbot Valley campus for nine years, and when the dean of Talbot Seminary resigned, I felt like now was the best time to consider starting a new seminary. So on March 31st, 1986, I made an appointment with John MacArthur to visit with him regarding that possibility. As a result of that conversation, John MacArthur met with the president of Biola University and Talbot Seminary. And then after that visit came to me at my office here on campus to tell me that we were on for that fall. We started with 95 students that very first year. As I look back over the 30 years, what I've seen as far as God's hand is how he brought together a group of men and knit our hearts together. Everybody was on the same page, pulling the wagon in the same direction. To be among colleagues of mine like Dr. Thomas and Dr. Buznitz, Dr. Roscoe, was a dream come true. Dr. Mayhew became the dean of the Master's Seminary and uh, he oversaw the bigger, broader things and I took care of the details regarding the academics and we worked well together. I grew up here at Grace Church, grew up around the Master's Seminary. And one of the reasons that I wanted to come to TMS was because I knew the quality and integrity of the men who are here. Our seminary is known by its graduates because we have a very dedicated, focused faculty who are not caught up in developing their own ministry, but are caught up in investing in these young men who come to the seminary. Our product is simple. We're producing preachers, and that's the uniqueness of TMS, that our job is to produce one product that is an expositor of the Word of God who's gonna go out <clears throat> and be involved in ministry. I think if there was one word that really sums up the, the treasure that is entrusted to the men who come to TMS, it is the word faithfulness. We've got a track record now of faithful alumni all over the world. Uh, 1,500 graduates, um, obviously the vast majority of them in viable and vital ministry. Almost 45 countries, six continents, approximately 20% of our graduates serving overseas. International students, you know, number of ethnic students coming to our seminary, preparing them for their communities. We are widely known across the world for training pastors based upon uh, an accurate view of scripture, sound hermeneutics that yields a sound theology. Uh, so the future for us is really wide open. It's remarkable that I have in my classes now the sons of men that I taught when I first came in. It makes me feel really old. But it also shows the quality of the seminary and, and the fact that these men could recommend to their sons to come to the school and be trained for the gospel ministry. That's exciting. It is a joy to, to really be here as the baton is being passed from that original corpus of men to, to the new men that God has raised up. And what's exciting to see is that these are men that have come out of the Massa Seminary. I can't think of anything more exciting than 
sort of watching us hire half a dozen young guys in their 30s who are ready to carry us for the next 30 to 40 years, knowing this, that their convictions run so deep that they're gonna produce another generation just like them, which extends the future even further. As part of this younger generation here at TMS, that's what we're committed to, is guarding that which has been entrusted to us. And wanting to be faithful in our generation, one day looking forward to identifying a younger generation of faithful men who also will guard that which has been entrusted to them. I think the best days for the Master Seminary are still ahead as we uh, begin to send more and more men around the world and as more and more men from around the world come to study here and then go back to their homes. I'm uh, anticipating great things that God will be doing over the next 30 years.